Well, I'm out of facts of Mars. And this is from BBC, a ghostly radio station that no one claims to run. MDZHB is call letters has been broadcasting since 1982. No one knows why. I would dispute that. Somebody knows perfectly well why this thing is running. Uh, but before I get started, I want to state for the record, the first time I tried to do this video, my machine suffered a series of strange malfunctions. Out of memory errors and things of that t nature. And it refused to record uh, my speaking, too. Just this video. It's weird. So I have a feeling we got something really strange here that is inexplicable. In the middle of a Russian swamp land, not far from the city of St. Petersburg, in a rectangular iron gate. It's a rectangular iron gate. Yeah, it's rusted bars. It is a collection of radio towers, abandoned buildings, and power lines bordered by a dry stone wall. The sinister location is focused on mystery, which stretches back to the height of the Cold War. It's thought to be the headquarters of radio station MDZHB, and no one has ever claimed to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in the last three weeks and a half decades. Three and a half decades, it's been broadcasting a dull, monotonous tone. Every few seconds, it's joined by a second sound like some ghostly ship sounding its fog horn. Then the f drum continues. Once or twice a week, a man or woman will read out some words in Russian, such as dinghy, your far farming specialist, and that's it. You see, that very fact proves that there is something going on with it. Somebody knows something. These people are, are told to go speak these words. It kind of reminds, reminds me of the original Red Dawn where they talk on the radio and they have little statements like John's mustache is long that's, you know, code to the troops or whatever. Anyone, anywhere in the world can listen in simply by turning the radio to frequency 4625 kilohertz. I'm not going to bother with that myself. It's so enigmatic. It's as if the design was conspiracy theorists of mine. Today, the station has an online following numbering in tens of thousands who know it affectionately as the buzzer. It joins two similar mystery. Mr. Stations the Pip and Squeaky Wheel. And their fans readily admit themselves they have no idea what they are listening to. In fact, no one does. There's absolutely no information in the signal, said Daniel, David Stuffles, expert in signals intelligence from City University of London. Frequency is thought to belong to the Russian military, though they've never actually admitted this. First began broadcasting at the close of the Cold War when communism was in decline. Today it's transmitted, transmitted in two locations, the St. Petersburg site and a location near Moscow, bizarrely after the collapse of the Soviet Union, rather than shutting down, the station's activity sharply increased. Somebody knows what this is for, folks. The fact that they had somebody going down there to broadcast word to is proof of that. But here's the uh, punchline. There are no stories of sit theories to explain what the buzzer might be for. Ranging and keeping in touch with submarines and communicating with aliens. One such idea is that it's acting as a dead hand signal in the event Russia is hit by a nuclear attack, the drone will stop and automatically trigger a retaliation. No questions asked, just total nuclear obliteration on both sides. Well, they're communicating something to the troops, obviously. 
it's some kind of a coded thing, probably. I wonder if anybody's actually analyzed the signal and see if there's anything encoded in that. They can't hear it. That would be a good uh, exercise for some of you radio geniuses. Take the signal, pick it apart and see if you can find something that's encoded in there. Who knows, you might uncover a great secret. In the meantime, I'm going to remind you that first time I did this video, my computer malfunctioned to the point where I had to shut it down and restart it. Just this video, as weird as, weird as it can be. <sighs> Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.